Hello everyone, this is Superman New. Welcome to Screencast number 10, Getting Started with Arduino. Now since the beginning of my channel, I wanted to create videos on electronics, but due to some reason or the other, it has not been possible. But now, suddenly I thought that I should make it the videos now, it's a suitable time for making videos on electronics. So here I am making videos on electronics. This is my first video and I thought that I should start with a very not very complex platform, a very simple platform, simple to program, simple to use, and that's known as Arduino. It's simplicity for electronics hobbyists. And now it's an open source electronics development platform that's available from an Italian company. You can visit their website arduino.cc for more information. As they are describing it, Arduino is an open source electronic prototyping platform based on flexible, easy to use hardware and software. It's intended for artists, designers, hobbyists and anyone interested in creating interactive objects or environments. So it's basically based on a microcontroller at Mega 328PU, that's its heart. This one right here, this is the at Mega one, the microcontroller. and it has to be programmed directly from the computer through a USB cable. You can see a USB point here on the Arduino. And when you connect it through a USB cable, you can power it simultaneously while programming. Also, there is a power jack which can be supplied with 5 volts and it could run in other positions, other conditions where USB may not be available. Now it's based on wiring, the Arduino programming language, and it's closely it has a close resemblance to C and Java. So any of you who are familiar with these languages will find it much easy to learn the Arduino programming language. It's based on wiring, another programming language. And the development environment is based on processing. The software, that is the development environment, the looks are based on processing. Now, we'll get started with Arduino. Today we are going to create the obligatory Hello World program. In every programming language you start with a Hello World program. So this program we are going to create today, this, the, the circuit we are going to create today can be described as the hello world program for Arduino. So basically, we'll make a LED on the Arduino board blink. Now I'll just give you a glimpse of the Arduino board. Just connect it. Okay, so I have connected it. Now you can see the power button glowing you can see the power button glowing here right here we have three more LEDs one two and three these are the three LEDs that are there on the Arduino board this one is the LED we are all bothered with so we are basically going to program this LED to blink in intervals of one second so let's return back to the computer and let's see what we can do with the Arduino development environment. Now, first of all, you can visit the Getting Started page and there will be a detailed guide to get you started for all the three platforms that, it's, that Arduino supports, Windows, Mac and Linux. Also, you can go ahead and download the software required to program the Arduino from the download page on their website yet again it is available for Windows Mac and Linux also the source is available so Arduino is an open source project so you will be provided with the source code of the software as well as the source code of the development board so you can either buy a development board for programming or you can build your own version. All the detailed information will be found on arduino.cc. Now today the board I am using is Arduino Uno. This is the most popular and most common boards you can see of Arduino. 
so th basically this is the board I'm using today basically I've chosen this because it's a starter board not too high end not too low end you can see all the hardwares that are available of the Arduino platform in the hardware page of their website you can see there are number of boards available see Arduino Uno, Leonardo, Mega, Lillipad all these are different Arduino hardware that are available from Arduino and again some Arduino clones are also available like Freeduino, Seedduino I don't guess these are Arduino clones but of course Arduino is the most famous among these all these platforms basically Arduino is also based on wiring which is again a development platform development board platform but nevertheless Arduino has become very famous among electronics hobbyists and any other people who are interested in creating interactive communication systems okay now we'll just open up the programming environment okay now this is the programming environment now you have to choose your Arduino board from the tools menu board and I'm choosing Arduino Uno and the serial port mine is connected to this real port you can find more about these things what what these means on the getting started guide so basically if you're on a Mac you have to choose this one dev slash tty dot USB model and any number can follow okay I've chosen this one now I'll write the basic sketch of the program sketch is what Arduino likes to call their programs we'll just type okay so here's the basic sketch of the program so it contains two methods first one setup second one loop now those who are not familiar with the language like C++ or Java I must tell that methods are functions not as you use it in mathematics but they are certain function they have certain behavior which we can define inside these curly braces so basically two functions are there in this sketch in this program basically and you can define all the things that are to be initialized in the setup method so all the things you want to be initialized in the board the prototyping board not in the program have to be mentioned here and in the loop you have to mention the main working of the program so these are the two functions that are there and the return type is void so that means they will return no value some functions are there which return some value which we tend to discuss in further tutorials and also I would like to state that I want to make further tutorials on this particular topic but I'm not sure about this nevertheless let's get started with this program so I will first initialize a pin now here you can see on the Arduino board there are certain pins on the IC so these IC pins are basically connected to these headers here As you can see these IC pins are connected to these headers and this LED is basically connected by default to pin 13 and ground so if we program something which is yet to run on pin 13 this LED will also blink so basically we are blinking a LED which is on on pro on the probe number 13 so this LED will blink and basically that's what we are going to do but if you want to connect extra hardware you can connect an LED a LED from the ground to the 
13th pin through a 220 ohms resistors okay so basically we're going to initialize the pin 13 and we will give it a name LED so basically integer int that means integer so the variable name followed by the pin number so the variable name LED will be of integer type that means it cannot contain decimal values and it will be assigned the value of 13 so wherever in the program we need the value of 13 we can just write LED and if you need to change that value of the LED pin in the future we can just change it once here and it will change all over the program now let's say pin mode this is again initialization method pin mode we say LED comma so this is again a function that will set up the LED on the board the pin on the pins on the board uh, to the output mode so we have set the pin to the output mode that means anything this basically creates a pipe that will only enable data to flow out of the pin not in the pin okay now as we have created this pipe now we have to push something out through this pipe so that will do inside the loop function loop method so we'll say digital write that means it will write something digitally not in an analog so basically this can only write two values high or low zero or one like that We'll say LED high so we have said LED high so it will set the voltage of the pin 13 to high again we'll say this is to turn on the LED this again we'll say digital right some mistake here yeah We'll say LED low this will set the voltage of pin 13 to low so wherever you can find this LED thing this will be replaced by 13 remember always now we'll say another function we'll state another function why because we want the LED to blink but here what will happen is the LED will simultaneously be in two states on and off but that is very contradictory statement that cannot happen so we have to add a delay between in between so this is another function it's another method you can say we'll add a delay of d seconds d milliseconds truly speaking again so after it is on it will remain on for one second that means thousand milliseconds and again if it is off again after one second it will turn off and it will remain off for d second that will assign a value of thousand thousand milliseconds so basically that's the basic function and this thing will give us a blinking look so again we want to initialize another variable int say d equals thousand so we'll say this now you can save this if you want but i'm not saving it uh, now let's upload the program to the board so as soon as you press the upload button here the compilation begins and there in the board this program is being written to the microcontroller so here it is you can see here clearly that this LED L marked L which is in turn connected to the pin 13 and pin ground is started blinking
okay very well so that's all for today hope that I will be able to make another tutorial further tutorials if you've liked this tutorial if you have any suggestions you can comment and please do subscribe to my channel to increase my subscriber population also do recommend this video to your friends if they are electronics enthusiasts so that's all for screencast number 10 thank you